Before we get started and launch into the video of a silly, silly game that I played and reviewed, I want to give a very, uh, as much of a boost as I can to Artem Kachanovsky and the European Go Journal. Artem is, uh, for, first of all, I should say, I remember seeing Artem's games online and hearing about him when he was a teenager, when I was first learning to play about Go. He is one of the strongest Go players in Europe. He's still in Ukraine right now. He's, he's Ukrainian. Uh, and about, oh, maybe just about a year ago, he launched the European Go Journal as, uh, as you know, as a, as just a purveyor of, of news, Go content and, and you know, Go talk uh, within the European community. Uh, he's had to, during the war, of course, susp completely suspend the printed edition. Um, and for that matter, right now, the digital edition is still a little bit in flux and the publishing dates aren't as steady as they have been. Um, but, but I, I absolutely want to give him a shout out and a promo, um, because, uh, you know, his full plan is to go back to, to doing this full time, right? He is, he is, I think the, the fifth ever European go professional, amazing player. And he's just dedicating his life to the game and his, to be frank, right. <laughs> uh, his, his career currently sucks right now because again, he's living in Ukraine, which is under this completely unprecedented, uh, egregious war. So, uh, if you can, and you want to support, you know, Artem, Ukraine, go in Europe, all those things, man, they could use a few more subscribers. And the, one of the easiest ways to do this is through Patreon. If you just type in European go journal, it'll come up on the Google doobly-doo stuff. And again, he suspended the print edition, but man, it'd be so amazing if some of you guys just got in, uh, for the, digital edition. And so if you like Go content, if you wish that, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you just got mail emailed, uh, you know, a Go magazine just every so often and just had, you know, Go problems and articles and tournament reports and, you know, lessons and just all sorts of Go good Go stuff, man, please, please join 650 a month. And, uh, you know, basically Artem is also donating a lot of his own money to the Ukrainian, and not only money, time, effort, you know, manpower, to the Ukrainian war effort. Uh, he is inviting more contributions um, to the Go Journal, and he's still working on it. And so, you know, please, please support him. Anyway, uh, I just want to put this out there in front of you. Uh, go in, in the game. The game you're about to see, I, I, I recorded it one day and I did a review the next day because I had a kid issue. So anyway, uh, that's me right now. Uh, Nick's going to go back in time and you can watch him play a very kind of silly, very sloppy game on Taijim. All right. I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Uh, all right. I think we got a game. It looks like I'm white. And, uh, recently in my video, I played my friend, my Ukrainian friend, Paul on Taijim, on my main account, which I haven't played very much on. And my main account had actually slid down a forward on. And so we're here to fix that today. So we're just going to play a fun, kind of loose game. See if we can kick this back up a little bit. Uh, I've definitely not been playing on Taijim as much this year. And I think that's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine. Maybe I should I should probably take in 3-3 over here. Or, yeah, or enclose that corner. This is fine. I'm all happy. I'm all good. Let's play this first. <laughs> but I really do want to come back and take 3-3. Three, three. This is a perfectly symmetrical distance on both sides. So we have all these fancy ones. Let's just play the most standard current pattern, I think, in this Joseki. Oh? Is this, is this new? <laughs> uh, I don't have a ladder. Oh, again, was not anticipating this. Fascinating. Hmm. 
I don't know. Let's assume this Atari is correct. <laughs> and that's a big assumption, and I have a choice. And both seem good. I guess, I guess... Oh, man. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're just fighting this way. I can't quite descend yet. Okay, you're going to come back and live that way. That seems fine. And this way better? I think so. It, it, it maybe, it, maybe the robot will say it's worse because it exchanges that co-threat too early. But in this case, I don't really care so much about the co-threat. I'm just attacking. And so I want to attack. All right, this is big or important. So is stuff over here, though. Uh, let's play the shape move. You should hunt it here. All right. Um, this also makes sure that my pincer over here is going to get some sort of value when I attack. Uh, on this board, currently, white has two weakest weakish positions, right? This stick over here, and then this one stone over here. And then black also has two weakish um, situations. This black group over here, and this one stone approaching over here. Um, so, all in all, I gotta say, this is looking even. <laughs> Um, yes, black has a little bit more cash right now, but I feel like my outside fighting position is stronger. So, assuming that black needs to basically have a move to fix something, that means I will have Sente. And so, I think it's a game. I think this is this is all fine. Uh, should I play there? This might be one of those cases where I play this kind of move. Or maybe I could just play that one. I don't really want to have to defend again, so... <laughs> this might be the asking kind of situation. Opponent's taking a nice long time on this move. Ah, yes, and my teacup is empty, and this is a travesty. Like, I would like to drink tea right now. Hmm. Uh, let's see, four, six, eight, ten. This is just a clean ten points. Ten point corner. It's funny that my opponent played so fast and now is taking... Oh, okay, all right, that's fine. Just going to jump out again. Very good. Uh, want to play so many things. Let's ask down here first. Okay. We have a fight. Phone again. Um, I should look at this message. Okay, all right. I don't need to respond to that. That's good. Uh, it's a fun jump out that leaves some kind of bad defects. Actually, <laughs> I could take this honey first. Um, I think without too much impunity. Let me jump out a little bit further. So let's do that. Oh. Oh, black's going to come around the top. Give me up the sacrifice. Or what? What is black's... Wait a second. <laughs> I should have thought way more about this. Oh, What? Oh, yeah, yeah, because, so, so here's the thing, like, yes, there's a ladder this way, that black is, that, that's the meaning of this move, black just defended this ladder, uh, but I also have this alternative sequence where I just take Atari and ram this stone down. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And that's really not that bad for me? Uh, um... Conceptually, at least. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. 
I mean, yeah. Oh my God, look at this. This is some balls. <laughs> Tanuki in here. For just a position at the bottom. Seems dubious, my friend. Oh no, the people outside are doing things. I don't want them to do things right now. We got Go videos to make. Let's just cap this. <laughs> um, let's just back off a little bit. Let them run this way. Again, not too hard for me to make eyes down here. So, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> like, feeling, feeling pretty good. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. This is... Uh, I do need to play there to make two eyes, right? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay. Not quite. All right, now we have two eyes. There is a weird, oh no, there, no, it's not two eyes because there's uh... Also, does this even work? What happens when I play here? Yeah, this is not two eyes because of this move. Or no, sorry, uh, this move. Yes, this one. Or is it? No, it's still two eyes. Okay. Mm, I don't need to falsify this eye, right? Oh, but it's sente ish Mm. He's going to connect up to that stone. So here's the thing. I still have some dirtiness. This is this is a little bit weaker than anticipated. All right, let's fix here first. He's going to take this very sad linking up move. And let's come back and play this. And let's try to build something. Oh, really? Are you really trying to ask for more here? I'm not even sure what you want. Oh, come on, leaf blower man. You don't need to be here. Just ask and build. Huh? Uh huh. He's got a nice peep there. I oh, will ignore it for now. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> hmm. This leaves some. This leaves a lot of things. Let's ask some questions. Oh my God, look at this. He's coming back with the balls again. <laughs> okay. Let's dig in. You can make your base if you want. No, you don't want to make a base now? I'm not sure about the timing of all this. <laughs> Might be kind of dubious. He's gonna let me. All right, so I have this now. I have this, and we stand. I don't think we stand yet. I think we play here. Oh no! <laughs> uh, this way. I 
I don't know. I, I assume this way. Let's play this way. I have to be a little bit worried about the counter peep. But if I kill the entire left, I'm fine with that, right? Like, that's fine. Counter peeping is fine. Uh... Oh, do I have to connect here first? It seems so. I thought I could play this first, but that is kind of a lie. I mean, it's actually, I could still play here first. I'm just not sure what's better. It's an evaluation problem. Mm. All right, I think I just killed the whole left. <laughs> and I'm going to get attacked here, though. So it may not have been worth it, because I'm also going to lose the bottom. Oh. Hmm. Is that a problem? Like, is that really, really a problem? Alright, well that, that's interesting. So that means he can get a disconnect there. But I still have this. And I still have this. So we'll entertain that cut on the assumption <laughs> that yes, you have that. <laughs> But I have this. We have a little bit of a running fight problem in the center now, but... <laughs> It'll be fine. Mm, Alright, at least this is getting a little exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. Uh, there's also a very nasty... The attack against this group. This group is not as safe as you might think it looks. <laughs> Maybe you don't think it looks safe at all, but... <laughs> oh, and this isn't Sente, because he has this and this. Um, but it does protect. Alright, so let's play there. And take our free stuff first. And everybody gets life, and I kill this, it looks like. So... Big whoop, I guess. Is this good? Mm -hmm -hmm. Seems good. Which means <laughs> this game will. Oh, it's so loud. Why are you being so loud? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so this does not. He doesn't actually have guaranteed life yet. He has to keep playing, which is fine. Can I play this? I don't think I can, right? Because I got killed. Is that is that a fact? <laughs> Anyone doing reading here? Anyone doing reading in this game? <laughs> It'd be great if someone was doing reading. <laughs> Maybe just attaching here is better, but this is so much nicer looking. I mean, it kind of threatens to kill the corner. 
but I might die. <laughs> Can I afford that? Probably not. Definitely not. Okay, so this doesn't quite, this is not a good idea. This one, however, still seems like a bad idea. Yeah, these are all over the place. This, this is a really funny move, this little shape point. Like, it's strong enough to sort of hold on its own, but it holds no other weight beyond this one stone. Like, anything I do over here, black and punish. Mm. Still really want to play these, though. I mean, what do we got in time? Oh, I have 16 seconds. Cool. Okay. Uh, Black's going to start another fight in the middle. Unclear as to why. Oh, because he's going to come after all this. Okay, that's cool. I just make the shape. This is getting crazier. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I wish I well no, I guess I didn't I didn't wish I took that exchange earlier, but it <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Can I play here and expect a good result? How many Bioyomis? I have another Bioyomis. I have two more Bioyomis. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, no, this is a bad idea, because these two stones get eaten. But actually, I think Black's going to look for something bigger, because this is all very weak. And I can't ever really... Oh, maybe I can play this move. No, I really, I, I really want to play here, but it doesn't work, right? All right, choice. Play there. I have no idea if this is good. It seems real bad, in fact, but we're going to try it anyway. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay. Very nice. If he, if he, if his response here... Oh, but now this works right. <laughs> oh, but it, no, 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 I still have this move. I'm, 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 uh, I'm still okay-ish. Still kind of okay. Right? Right, guys? Right. <laughs> Oh man, this is <laughs> this is bad. I don't have that many liberties. What do I really have? I really have uh looks like four liberties. How many does my friend here have? Uh, it looks like he has four too. Hmm. All right, looks bad. Oh, no, that just lives, right? Mm. That is a problem. But it certainly looks like this corner, yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. So he wins this. But we can get compensation, right? Have a little faith. 
Mm. Man, I can't believe how much stuff we failed to kill this game. Mm-hmm. This doesn't do anything, but we'll take a look at it anyway. He should start co, I think. Maybe it doesn't matter. Nah, it doesn't matter. Um... Just connect. Four to three. Oh, dirty. Dun, 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 dun. So, how big of a problem is this, really? I mean, you can get lots of free stuff, Nine, but we can just eight, fix everything. Seven. Take time, Suji. I hope. <laughs> it's, it's real bad if it's not, if it doesn't work. I guess it, it actually wouldn't, if anything I play is not going to work, technically. Um, okay. Just make sure. You, Uh, all right, that's a pretty reasonable move. He's gonna run this out. Do I give up these? Probably. We don't care about those. Those stones can suck it. No, I'm gonna defend a little bit. If he if he threatens a move like this, though, I've got no. Oh, maybe I can actually cut now. Oh no! Wait a second. Oh, it's fine. It's still fine. We're still fine. No problem. Overtime countdown has begun. Oh, that's too loud. Oh, you're too loud. Uh, that looks like a good move, though. <laughs> Is it a good move? Dun, dun, dun. Not good enough, right? One, two, three. Two. It's still three to four. Mm. Mm. All right, Blacks is digging in. Godspeed. All right, this is a pretty big loss. <laughs> One, two, four, five, six, seven, ten. Is it really 15 stones? Oh my gosh. Plus a little bit extra. Hmm. Fifteen stones. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have given this one up. <laughs> that seemed kind of overplayish, but you know, this is all this is all good stuff. Hmm. I want this one. What else do I want? Let's talk about all the things I want. I want this one too. Maybe it's not that big anymore. Comparatively. Hmm. Pretty big. That's too many points. <laughs> so we gave up 15 stones, and in the process of that fight, we ended up capturing 6, 10, 12. So that's a little bit poor of a showing. <laughs> Should not give up 15 to capture 12. Oh, we gave up two more. We gave up like 17. So that's not very good. But, 
you know, we played a game. Real sloppy. <laughs> As promised. Oh, is this, does this work? I have, oh, I have this move too. Oh yeah, I should be playing this move, right? Enough. Um, yep. Mm. I'll just play that one. Let's see, we'll estimate score. Black is leading before Comey. Oh, good. <laughs> Close game. Maybe. <laughs> Very probably. Okay, I think we're okay. I think everybody is fine. Oh, was that a mistake? No. I mean, maybe there's bigger moves, so maybe it is a mistake, but <laughs> no, it's a good point. Uh, um, can I, though? Mm, seems like a really bad idea. Or it's my best idea. Doom, doom, doom. Do, do, do. Um, I have Yoyomi, yes, I have Yoyomi, okay. Alright, these might die, but if I get all that, that's fine. <laughs> so we need to defend this this way, this way feels so bad. Hmm? Hmm? Is good? I'm not sure if this was a good trade <laughs> anymore. <laughs> like, like, we read it out. We knew this was going to happen. I just didn't have time to count the number of stones involved. And so maybe that was better, a little bit better for black than it was for white. I don't know. But either way, it happened. All right, this is big. This is also kind of big. Let's take the corner first. Let's see what the estimator says now. The <laughs> same exact score. Black is leading by one. All right. Well, we played a game. It's big. That is settled. Still? Is it still right? Oh, black is now leading by three. Oh, oh man, was this bad? How did I lose a point? Hmm? 
That's a good point. Um, let's play here. Well, it's kind of big. This is also, this is good. Okay. Uh, here and here. This isn't actually this is just two points, right? Um, does this change anything? Three liberties, three liberties can play it. Okay, we should play it then. That's not really a real point, so let's take that one. Alright, I think we scraped out a win here. Like, and I do mean scraped. Cause reasons. Just defend. This is kind of a big point. That's not as big as I think it is, <laughs> is my belief. Nothing, right? Nothing, nothing. No, not until liberties get filled in. So film liberty, let's consult the estimator. White is leading by two. That's before Comey. So that's good. Getting this over here was big. I have another Sente move I should have taken during this. Um, yep, yeah, that's good. Playing this is also good. Let's take this first. There's a little bit of end game over here. Oh, this is also good. Two points. Uh, do I need it? Don't need it, but let's take. Oh, this. I maybe should have taken this one first. Yeah. Okay. All right. How'd we do? Is camera still rolling? <laughs> this was a sloppy game. <laughs> As promised, I think I delivered. Okay. <laughs> so let's take that one. I am I am nickel and diming him a little bit here in the end game. Oh yeah, this wasn't two points. This yeah, yeah, that's better. You can never Atari. This is always alive. There's one there. No matter what I play, I have to fill this in eventually. Like this is always a the problem, like a two move a two move solution. Connect. Okay, uh, that's not a point. At one point, it actually might have been. I'm not. I'm not sure if I really missed that somewhere. Or what? But. Just two coves, right? Any other non co points I should make sure before doing anything? Don't see it. Oh, there's three coves, so. Alright, dude, you have to give me one. And then you get the other one. Yep. I think that's how this works. Wins by 12, yeah. I think the computer gave me an extra point in there, though. All right. Sloppy game. Like, not... Not great. <laughs> um, definitely not proud of that one. But, you know, it's not about that. It's about having fun. What? He didn't accept, okay. I mean, you're going to find 12 points somewhere?
yeah, you, you can do all this. This is fine. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very good. All right, there you go. <laughs> you got your extra points. Very good. All right. Yes. Oh, okay. This is uh, considerably more optimistic. Uh, do, do, do. No matter what, I'm fine. No matter what, I'm fine. No matter what, I'm fine. And come on. Now counting, and get, I think it, I think it's like yeah, eleven and a half points exactly. It was one point <laughs> that the AI did not pick up on. Further counting. So yes, we did all that for one extra point, so we could lose by eleven and a half. All right, very good. All right, let me get the. I gotta get this game into a robot. Like that, this was bad. This was. Uh, sloppy. This this was it was fun. It was fun. I'll give you that. But here, let me pause the video. Whoa! Time travel. This is a thing. Uh, I'm recording this over a day later than when I first paused the video. My computer's just had this like video recording paused ever since. My kid had a problem. Thought he was getting sick. Everything's good. Anyway, I'm back, and I'm gonna do this game review that apparently uh, for a game I played yesterday. <laughs> so that's just kind of funny. Anyway, uh, I've got it loaded here in AI Sensei, which is a great online platform for reviewing your games. Uh, all the CPU hardware stuff is handled on their end, so you just pay your money. You know, it doesn't tax your resources. You can use it on all sorts of uh, you know lower powered systems quite easily. Anyway, I've got it loaded up here, and you can see this game was sloppy, like as promised. Look at the graph here, just kind of behind my head. I mean, yes, I eventually do sort of stabilize and, and secure a pretty a pretty solid win, but oh man, was it not quite... Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it, was, it was not a solid game. Not, But that means it has lots of things we can learn from. So let's go through it and let's, uh, let's see how we can, what we can do here. All this is pretty fine. These are all good moves or AI moves. It's very easy to see, um, you know, where you make mistakes in this. The really big mistakes, of course, are all labeled red, and you can... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you can see both of us made a whole lot of mistakes in that area that were just not... not that great. It's not that great of moves. Um, but this beginning was pretty strong. We haven't actually had anything other than green or blue moves yet. Um, from... This level, we are seeing like one point mistakes, I guess. Uh, just depends on your, everything's, everything's relative, right? All right, so here, this is where we get sort of the first uh, mistake by my opponent. And again, it's only a 2.7 move, but just jumping out rather than poking at this first, um, it's a shape point. Um, but even so, it likes it likes these other points better. All right, not still not that big of a mistake. Everything is good. And again, I don't, I don't have the rating set higher. These mistakes would be appearing if I if I had this little rating slider that's kind of hidden behind my head, um, set to a higher level. But again, we wanna we wanna focus on the big picture stuff and not get drawn out into the nitty gritty. Um, yep, yeah, AI even liked my slide here. Not not it wasn't the preferred move. It just wanted to make a base more solidly. Uh, again, I thought I could get away with this because I have a, a group to attack. So if this runs out, I have something to attack. But AI says no. It's still just better. Just just make a base, play honest, and and um, to be fair, this is my usual style. Like this is, uh, you know, secure secure exactly the strength you need, and then come down with a big hammer. But I don't know. I was feeling. I was in a mood. Just in a mood. Here, AI is, uh, yeah, AI likes my move enough, but says that jumping out is actually better. And this is all fine, I'm just looking at these. All right, here we go. This, this Hane did not like just jumping better, or even, even playing two space better. That's interesting. Um, just leaving that, that shape point there. Um, it just, yeah. 
course, AI, AI corrects here. But this is a big loss. This actually swings it quite dramatically to black by the AI's calculation here. We're kind of just sparring around, you know, plus or minus maybe two points. Um, but after this, it's a black five, five or six point game. So, yeah, big, if we play here, AI is thinking right now, yeah, and it says go after that. And that makes sense. That, that's kind of very expected. All right, all reasonable. So don't, <laughs> Asane just doesn't do a lot. It leaves all the same defects. I just get w exactly one line out further. Um, this is a really common mistake that I make, but I think all Go players make. Like, is it better just to go slow and solid, or you can take advantage of a little bit of a weakness to go a little bit faster? And the problem with this idea, it sounds great, but again, you're leaving just more weaknesses. And so it, even though you go faster, it gives us more opportunities for your opponents. Anyway, here, what happened? Black, uh, Black lost a couple of points here. This cut is too early. Again, should come out on the top. And then here... Playing this Tanuki basically swung the game back to White's favor. Um, basically, yeah, Black is should follow up here and make these exchanges and then connect. And then same thing, Black just comes on top. Very reasonable. Again, White should be able to get out. Um, these two moves actually didn't get much for Black, but they didn't really hurt either. Um, this stone is helpful because there is some thinness here. And so this stone helps actually prevent some of these cuts. But... Not, not too bad, not too, not too significant here. Uh, yeah, why didn't I capture this stone? Why did I play here? Why, what was I thinking? Like, it's not, it's not the worst move in the world, but. All right, well, anyway. Um, it's, it's actually, actually the AI, AI evaluates it very similarly. Um, to this. Actually, it's really not that different. <laughs> we get a happy face for the stone. Okay. <laughs> you go, AI Sensei. You go. You go. You put the high, the, the happy faces and the, the sad faces where you want. Mm. I think in the game I played this because I could. <laughs> right? The stone can't actually really cut. <laughs> so, the stone just, again, I'm just playing a little bit faster, just trying to kind of pick up my speed to get out and around this group. I think that was my thinking. But again, just playing a slow move is probably the way to go. This kick, not the best timing, but it's okay. Um, does not, not in love with this cap either, but it's okay. We just much prefer just taking the top. And again, that's the most natural move. I already felt like I invested enough stones over here to make eyes. So I was like, screw it. Let's just go faster. And again, I already had these extra stones. I Like I had gotten faster, so I want to take advantage of it. But again, AI says no, no, just play solid. <laughs> this is asking, just, to, just it's it's fine, right? It's a one point two point or one point two point loss, so it's fine. Um, but here, it really didn't like this way to attack. Yeah, it said here, just <laughs> take that, take some points, force Black to run, make some, you know, top territory. Uh, I just want to attack on a larger and larger scale. And then here, this Hane's bad, but it's, that's, isn't that a, that's just a terrible move. Like, look, how does, how do you, like, this just looks, feels so bad for Black. Look at that. Instead of asking for a little bit. Oh, yeah, I didn't take advantage of this. Whoops. <laughs> if Black just blocks, uh, there's this double peep here. And that's cool. Black has to go run the other way. So I, this, this move is actually a big overplay. And I did not take advantage. So two yellow moves, both players did not capitalize, did not find the move. And all this is kind of forced. And then here, this move. All right, I want, to, I want you all to add this move to your vocabulary. And I've, I've seen this move like plenty of times. Like this is not, not an AI move. This happens a lot in human games. But when you have this little hanging connection uh, on the third line, fourth line to third line, this is often a the move you can play to disconnect and the reason why it works kind of and i say that uh, i mean it, it's it's a little dubious when black plays here if black were to take this cut you can atari once 
And if black runs out, well, in this case, I have a ladder, but let's pretend I don't have, I mean, first of all, it just, it just makes a ladder. Um, but let's say black had the ladder. Uh, when you live over here, right, or connect this up, whatever it is, this little triangle, right, this little empty triangle helps you actually run out. Whereas, uh, you know, if we, if we descended <laughs> and black were to cut, and again, we have to imagine... Uh, black having the ladder here. When black runs this way, there's still a cut here, right? This cut hasn't been solved. So these three stones can still link up. Whereas when it's here, white can link up. Isn't that cool? Like, I think this is, a, this is, this is like a move that I, again, I've seen plenty of times, but I don't, I don't have in my immediate, uh, you know, search tree when I'm playing a game, this little fourth line standing kind of group, Hane third line, and play this move to connect. This is a very sharp fighting move. Um, and various other Drosakis are also this one where you attach to the stone over here. This is not really what you want to do or what I want to do. And obviously in the game, this is much too soft. This is, first of all, it doesn't really solve the problem of black potentially cutting through and it lets black link up underneath. This is just kind of a cluster of bad, like it's a, maybe not bad, but complete mediocrity. Uh, and so AI again wants me to take this exchange first and then play here. Pretty much same, same. Same idea. Anyway, so this is a move I need to look for. And I think I want, you know, if you can, look for it as well. Um, especially in preventing that under, under when you want to either prevent or potentially link up along the second or first line. Uh, that is prevent a connection. You can play that diagonal. That's very cool. All right. Uh, here, I, yeah, this is when I actually play it. I need to play that one for 100%. This makes black pretty miserable. Black has to start this capturing race. And, oh boy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, yeah, he says it's fair. Like, I guess this capturing race doesn't result in death for everyone. I think everyone probably lives, um, which is cool. But, I don't know. What black gets the bottom, white builds something on the right, or in the center, center top right. All right, anyway, let's go back to game. After all this, uh, I play the standing move, which again, slight loss, I'd much prefer to cut through here. And this is actually, in the game, I end up playing this one. Um, but after the fact, the AI points out this stone here is a better way to actually cut off these two things. And it's a little bit counterintuitive, um, right? If white get all, you know, gets counter cut, um, this corner actually has some problems, but so does black, right? This is this is just a fair fight, and that's really what I want here. I've gotten I've got all the outside stones here. Yes, black gets an Aji move here that forces me to connect. Um, but I guess I didn't really force me to connect. Assuming that black is alive here, when black does cut again, I can I can always just give up. And I talked about this a little bit in the game, um, where I can always just give up, <laughs> and. Oh, actually, I don't even have to give up, right? This has enough liberties. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I don't even have to give it up. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's just never, never a cut here until black plays something else here. <laughs> and then I can still give it up, depending on what black plays. All right, anyway. So we'll come back to that. You'll see me cut here in a little bit. Uh, this move, yeah, this move felt bad in the game. I was just like, what are you doing? Um... And then these are all okay moves. AI, AI says <laughs> black should threaten this cut though. Fix fix over here. AI AI is just loving this this area for both players. Um, uh, this is like like black can basically destroy white's points and eventually get to an attack on these things. Um, but it doesn't really change the global landscape very much, right? As long as black's alive here. Basically, black can eventually maybe kill or, or at least attack these four stones. And that's about it. Over here, uh, even though there's only two, three, well, three stones that are under attack, this is this is a much more significant <laughs> chunk of territory because number one, the corner actually isn't hundred percent. The stick isn't hundred percent, and black is starting to make a lot of points over here. Like there's there's invasion possibilities and stuff that white has to do. Um, so, I mean, I, I agree that this just doesn't feel important. Black has invested so many stones. Capturing an additional four, eh, feels meh. <laughs> Over here, it does not like my move 80. This is just to, 
to expand on a large scale, find a plan. Again, cutting over here, just doing this much bigger, much more important. I do get a response. And again, does not like starting with this point. Again, starts with this cut. <laughs> um, when I'm playing this, I'm really aiming at this over here, though. Like, um, maybe not this move, but definitely this peep. And so AI doesn't like anything we're doing. Just this is the biggest area. Uh, it does. It does. It does like me not responding here. It does like tanukiing. Um, it just would prefer to cut there. And I make this exchange, and then I play here. And again, this move is bad. I should just play here. <laughs> this is the key point. Uh, and I'm scared, right? I'm scared to play this because my corner is, is a little weak in terms of shape. It can get bullied. But yeah, this is this is a cool sequence. Uh, where black kind of cuts off and try to comes in, and basically white, er, you know, every everyone is fine. Like black has to spend a couple extra moves here to lasso this stone and be okay. And during that time, white can can use that tempo to basically just put a nice living group down here in the bottom of black's moyo. So that'd feel really nice as white. Um, AI does say AI is winning by a few points, a small handful, if that was the sequence. But over here, we're going to have a disaster for black. <laughs> and then it's going to come right back, and we have a couple disasters for white. When I cut this way, uh, and I make shape down here, that's not terrible. Um, again, this black move is bad, but then here, this is fine, this is fine. This is not so fine. Here, I just need to connect. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, I was a little bit dumb. And that I was I was overly scared of this. And I don't need to be scared of this, is the thing. I can just play this way. I can even extend here, threat, make a little threat. And then I can, you know, do something. I guess, is, yeah, I says this is alive, or at least I need to play this first. Oh, this is more confusing. I thought I could just, I, I should just live here with one move, but AI says I should cut this stone off first. Oh, this is becoming a very hard life and death problem. Good job, AI. You've, it's not what I want to read right now. I don't want to read a hard life and death problem. I think the point is after a move like this, I can just live. And that's cool. Uh, black can threaten, but there's not a lot black can do. Black connects. Any other move? Oh, wow. Oh, if black connects, yeah, all this is dead. Huh. That's funny. Okay. So anyway, I was very blind here. I thought for some reason, like, oh, I need to connect this to this. No, I really don't. Nope. Nope, not at all. <laughs> I can just live down here. That was the original plan anyway. So I just got blinded, and hence this little crash. So we had this, like, glorious sequence that looks like white is pulling ahead with a big lead. And then I went, nope, we're just gonna not do that plan and make all these exchanges first that are unnecessary, make black a lot stronger in here. Um, that leaves this defect, leaves this cut. Um, but again, black black isn't going to find this move to threaten this cut. This cut's now important. And this move also right starts to set up this move. Um, so anyway, there's some exchanges, etc. Here, there's another Tesuji that's coming up that I'm really excited to show you. Because um, I've been I've been mentioning like there's some weakness in the corner, and this move this move isn't this this move is setting up uh, a different a different sequence. But there's a cooler Tesuji that gets revealed in the game that my opponent doesn't find thankfully because I don't know what I would have done. Um, we play this out again. The uh, AI sensei likes to put these little happy face, smiley face, unhappy faces when things that shouldn't have died are all of a sudden dying, or vice versa. <laughs> And, yep, in this case, black should definitely connect these two. But black's like, now is the time to cut this off. And then the problem is, cutting this off doesn't do nearly as much. Um, you can see a big lead for white now, because white can live here. And these two stones are not that important. And if black doesn't kill these two stones, then black's gonna die. Like, it's real... Real sad. And basically a version of this plays out in the game to give white an advantage until I lose it. <laughs> white, we take all the free stuff. 
Uh, play there, play there, and and oh yeah, there's actually there's actually multiple Tetsuji here. Check this out. So instead of playing this one, the AI finds this move, and this is cool. Like, like these two stones are dead, right? So it seems like this shouldn't work. But how do you respond? Well, let's say I play here. <laughs> Blunder, 29.1 point loss. Okay, that's that's good. It's going to show us, because of this Atari, right, we immediately uh, have a problem. Have a big problem. Uh, and, you know, these are just dead. <laughs> right, black just cuts through, kills the corner. All right, so 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 we see there's a problem here after this, after this Tetsuji. So I can fix. AI says this is the best way to fix. But now... Uh, when white plays here, white black already has a stone here, which means black can link up and actually take away the corner end game. Um, so this this stone, uh, you know, white has to come back and live. Oh, black can make this exchange first. That's dirty, <laughs> and then and then play this move to link up, and just white gets no corner points. Isn't that cool? Um, there's another variation I saw in one, in one of these moments. I don't know where it was. Uh, I'll look for it here. Uh, nope. No, it must have been earlier. There's another one where black can do something very similar, but by attaching here uh, and get a very similar result. Uh, but uh, yeah, it has to be earlier, right? Because yeah, yeah, here. Because black has the stone that's going to die and black can say, should it really die? And play a move like this to ask, you know, how much of the corner does white want? Um, if we play this out, um, you can see white is busy here trying to capture the stone. Um, but then now, when like let's play B, B is a little bit clearer in terms of the variation. Now you can see the problem that Black is starting this Atari again, which will then kill off the three stones because this Liberty is taken away. Isn't that cool? And so White has to play there, and then Black can basically safely jump here. And Black currently doesn't have enough Liberties to to kill, um, but Black can threaten to get more. And anyway, starts off this this cool capturing race. So again, this this little Atari here leaves a lot of defects on these two stones, and uh, I just think it's very cool um, that Black has multiple Tesuji in the corner to take advantage of it. Um, either here, which basically gives you a free descend, like a, a stone like this gets, gives you a free tempo to play this move, or over here to threaten basically taking away all the corner points, just depending on the situation. All right, in the game, White basically solidifies a big... Advantage, so White's up about 20 points at this point. And no one is playing the shape moves in here. We're just ignoring it. Um, and here, what happens? Yeah, Black decides to try to go after this. Um, and I make shape. Apparently, I should play this. And maybe, I mean, that's definitely a ladder that works for Black. So... No, is the AI just not good at reading ladders at 2,500 playouts per move? I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> the, I think the AI is... I don't know. Anyway, we make these these little shape exchanges. The AI likes, the AI likes none of them. Because the AI really just wants to play out here. <laughs> and this cut says it's bad. All right, we want to get to the point where I really go royally wrong here. Um, wait, what? How do I lose? Oh, that's my next move. Yeah, I, I don't take this stone. This stone got left there like the entire game. Like, I need to take it. It's just free. Like, totally free. And it also does away with this, uh, the Sente Atari. I think that's, that's the real advantage. In the game, I, I, I kept, I just had a blind spot here for this move. Um. So once I do that, that really limits Black's options in the quarter, and it's totally free. It's just totally free. So I don't get that. Instead, I connect here, and the AI doesn't like that move either. It would much prefer just taking the outside, yeah, just taking control of the outside here. And this seems very reasonable. Wow, to the point where the AI Oh yeah, actually, it's not even just this Atari. 
Um, let's say we have to take... Really? Is that Sente? Why is... Oh, well, this is just a bigger deal. Here, let's play there. Yeah, and I think the follow-up, yes, is to actually go this way. No, it still wants to play over here first. All right, I want to... Here, let's connect there. Really? It's not to finish this? Oh, I missed, misclicked. Come on, AI. You can do it. No, I don't want to play it. <laughs> just leaves so much Aji. Here, let's just play there and see what the follow-up for black here is. Yeah, play this way. For black to get more liberties, and I think this is Ko. But... We'll see. Is it not Ko? Both these look intriguing. Yeah, Ko. So black has this co-threat in the corner, and that's the real meaning of this co connection way back at two. <laughs> and that's why this is such a big move. Number one, it's completely free sente for white to do it. And if black gets it, again, takes away that sente advantage, it actually leaves a co for the left-hand side. And that's very cool. Okay, so anyway, I don't take that move. The AI is very unhappy. I don't really take the outside very directly. <laughs> I play this move, which isn't that bad, I guess. But then, uh, here's this one. My next move here, I play here. Oh, no, I don't. I play on the head of the three stones, which seems like totally logical, totally natural. But I'm not alive down here, and that's the problem. I need to actually make sure this group is alive. Uh, and we know the fate of that group. That group hmm, was not, not the best group in the world. Still, this it wants to play here. Amazing. And I, oh, wait. Well, but I do? Oh, but I actually do. All right. Cool. All right. I did get that. <laughs> I totally forgot. That's what happens when I don't review the game a day for a day. For a day later. Is this just fantasy? This isn't fantasy, right? This is the actual game, right? Yeah. So I, we, I try to find a living sequence here. I end up getting compensation, right? I basically, in the end, uh, got this killed, but got some, you know, some base, some make some inroads into the corner and secured the center. And so even though black makes a ton of points here, uh, it's not like it's, it's it's not enough to actually swing the game. Like like basically down here and over here, this influence here and the points I end up getting here are enough. However, uh, this apparently is not big enough, and this is the point where I should attack this stone and just not worry about these three. Give black the corner and just take a giant right-hand center. Um, neither of us really do that. <laughs> and we have a much more complicated situation over here, where black does end up living. Um, and hence it only ends up being a modest win. Um, but after this, you know, you can see all, this, all the mistakes are you know, five points or less or so, which are still, like, really significant. Like, none of this is... Uh, I would I don't want to call it small <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just really sloppy. Like, all these, like, little five-point mistakes back and forth. Um, just sort of letting black live here a little bit too easily. Uh, again, I had, a, I had a lot of points on the left. I had a chunk in the center. I had black's right. I had my top right. And, you know... What's funny is Black ended up making his second largest territory inside of my giant Moyo in this game. But often when your opponent does that, if they're working really hard to do that, you can make enough territory elsewhere. And um, that's basically what happened here, right? There's just not enough points left on this board. I make a little bit more in endgame. My opponent isn't quite as strong as endgame um, as some of his middle game fighting. I make up a few more points to the win. So anyway, uh, I think I think the coolest... For, for me, in the, in this game, if you're going to have some takeaways, uh, just one of the coolest shapes, I'll go back and take a look, was right here. This opportunity here, let's connect and then play something like this. I guess it's not quite the shape, that's not quite the... How do I, how do I show this? Here, we'll make, we'll make these exchanges. <laughs> um, but this one, this little diagonal connection. Um, also, even though there's a ladder and even though white can come out and fight. This is also potential for a net as well. And so you can see that it still prevents a connection and tames that outside stone. 
So even if you don't want a ladder, even if you don't want to fight, if your opponent still cuts this, you still have this move. Although maybe not. No, no, sorry, there's an Atari. You don't have that move. <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely don't have that move. You almost have... You have something very close to that move. You have either the choice of a Ko, this way, or this way. <laughs> there's a couple Ko's to choose from. Or if you don't want any Ko, you can give up a little bit more and, and solidify it that way. Um, either way, I need to look at more of those diagonal shape points. Um, especially for disconnecting opponent groups. And again, I thought this ending to Suji over here was very cool. Later on, let's get to this point right here. Um, just seeing this double Atari and hitting that shape move right in the corner was really, really nice. Uh, but my opponent didn't find it. That was very helpful. <laughs> uh, and then if we go all the way back, you know, I think this, after we... Let me get this, again, a little bit of an overplay, but here, just jumping, like not using every little bit of Aji, leaving some Aji. There might even be um, sequences later, right? This is, and when you have three stones, the real shape point is the one space jump away. And that, in this case, this might be end up setting up a dual threat where I can wedge or I can cut off. Whereas if I just use the Aji right away, that, that just completely, whoops. No, oh, honey, stop being slow. Um, that just all that option just goes away just for one more line of, of jumping. Whereas if I play here, let's, excuse me, doesn't quite work yet. Uh, although actually, it kind of no, it totally well that works in this case. If I just want to capture three stones, that works beautifully. Um, here, if we connect this way. And again, the AI, the AI is just mad at me. It doesn't want the AI does not want to do any of this. <laughs> but again, you can see that this wedge works, and that's a very because black doesn't own the shape point. I can essentially, you know, again cut here or wedge here, and I'm giving that all up with this move. So that's a little bit sad. Anyway, I hope those three things are interesting or at least applicable to your games. Uh, thank you for watching. And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna play some more fun games. I think it's getting it's getting a little bit late here. I almost want, I I kind of I kind of want to play more Go right now, and I even have like a little cup of decaf coffee to hit me with just a hint of caffeine here. <laughs> but anyway, happy going. See you next time.